Hey, what's up everybody? So, today I'm going to be showing y'all how I go about painting this great caliber. Here are some of the things that I have that I'm going to be using in order to do that. Um, I have uh, paper towels, a towel, alcohol, and brake cleaner. This is the caliper paint that I'm going to be using and I also have just regular grease that I'm going to be using to coat the parts that I do not intend on painting. So I'm going to actually start off by giving the caliper a wipe down with the brake cleaner. Just kind of spraying it down and wiping it down with a rag. And once I do that, so I'm just going to spray it down like that. And just wipe it down with the rag. So once I get this wiped down, I'll be back with the next step. Alright, so now I have the caliber completely wiped off. There's no more grease on or anything like that. I have the two pieces disconnected from the, from each other. That's the bracket and this is the caliber here. So I just went and took those apart to make it easier to get to all the parts on here and make sure there's no grease. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking a paper towel and breaking it into little pieces and stuffing all the holes that I do not want paint to go into. So like this hole here just gonna stuff paper towel off in there to make sure the threads do not get any type of paint on them so I pretty much just cut that off just like that so I'm gonna do that to all the holes on here then I'll be back with the next step okay so now I've got all of the holes plugged up with the blue paper towel everything that I don't want paint going into like on the threads and stuff like that I have those completely blocked off the next thing I'm gonna be doing is taking some grease on a brush and painting it on everything that I also don't want to remain painted so like these guide pins here I'm gonna go ahead and paint these in grease and also the bolt heads. I'm gonna paint those in grease. This little um, brake bleeder nipple, that's gonna get painted in grease. And also, I'm gonna also be painting the brake guides, which is this part right here. That way that doesn't get caked up with paint and stop the the brake guides from being able to sit on there properly so I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease on there there and on this end here and then after that we'll be ready for paint so once I get everything greased up then I'll show you the next the next step okay so now I have everything greased up that that there I also attached these wires onto the calibers so that I can hang them on this bar right here so I'm gonna go ahead and get those get the calibers hung up and then I will show you the painting process all right so I have them hanging up now hanging from there and I also gave them one more wipe down to make sure that there was no grease on them from my hands. So now we're about to start the painting process. So for this can of paint right here, yeah, you need to shake it for about approximately one minute to make sure it's completely mixed up. And the first coat that you do is supposed to be really light. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a light coat on here and I'll show you what that looks like.
Okay, so that's going to be the first coat. And I'm going to let that sit for 10 minutes and then be back for the second coat. Alright, so we're back for coating number three. I'm going to give you a close-up of what everything looks like so far. So, pretty much everything is covered in there. It's a little bit light. I don't know if you can see that exactly. Um, pretty much everything is covered. Just need to put... I think I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, at least two more coats. I want it to be nice and thick. I'm also making sure to spray all the corners and everything like that. That way we don't miss any spots. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat on there and give it another 10 minutes. So, here we go. Alright, so it has been a little bit over 10 minutes since the third coat that I put on there. It's looking really good. Pretty much, I think all the spots are actually covered up on here. There's no, nothing showing through. But I'm going to go ahead and put one final coat on there just to make sure everything's looking perfect. Alright, so that is the final coat. I'm going to give that one just about 30 minutes and then that's when I'll probably start. Depends on how it feels, I'll probably start um, clearing off all of the, all the paper towel and grease that I use to coat the slide pins and everything like that. And I'll show you all the final product. Alright, so this is the final part. Uh, the brakes have been setting for about, oh, sorry, the calipers have been setting for about, uh, probably about 40 minutes and they are, it is completely dry. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the grease cleaned up off of these slide pins and the nuts on that side and... So as you can see, it's a nice line. As long as you put the grease on kind of evenly and get get the line right, you'll get nice clean edges and you won't have to worry about um, if you use the grease, you won't have to worry about using any type of tape or anything like that to tape off areas that you don't want to get paint on. So I'm just doing this with one hand right now, but I'm going to go ahead and get everything wiped off, get the, the paper towel out of all the holes and things like that, and we'll get a final shot of everything. Alright. Alright, so this is the final. Everything's put back together. Um, as you can see, all of the bolts and the bleeder screw. And all the holes are clean as far as any type of paint going in there. So everything turned out great. And that's going to be it. That's going to be the steps of how to paint brake calibers without using tape. So anyway, hope you all like this video. And please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like to see more car content. Thank you. Have a great day.